The future. Has the first person to live forever already been born? Did you know that there is a species of jellyfish that is actually biologically immortal? That means that unless it is physically killed by a predator or disease, it will potentially live forever and never die. This is possible because the jellyfish known as a Turritopsis nutricula is able to revert back into its polyp form, much like Doctor Who, and rejuvenate all of its cells as it does. Personally, I believe that this is the most likely way humans will be able to achieve immortality. But that's besides the point. The point is that however we might eventually crack biological immortality in humans, many scientists agree that the first child to live forever has probably already been born. How is this possible? And how likely is it? Why it might be possible. People are getting older and older all the time, as we generally learn more about how to live healthy lives, fight illness, and improve our diets and lifestyles. We smoke less. We eat better diets. We drink cleaner water, and we take better medication. Already, people are living longer than they did a hundred years ago. With the oldest person so far has lived to an impressive 122 years and 164 days. There are claims of older, but this is the oldest verified claim. If you make the assumption that this record will be beaten, then it's safe to say that some people born today might live to 130 or even 140. That means that they'll die in the year 2153, by which time technology is likely to be unrecognizable. It has changed drastically in the last hundred years, but according to Moore's Law, which states that technological improvement occurs exponentially rather than linearly, the jump should be far greater over the hundred that are to follow. Popular Life Extension Techniques During this time, it's highly likely that we will see medicines and technologies introduced that can extend our lifestyles. Already there are many signs that this may be the case and many candidates for the technologies that might do this. For instance, a recent study by the Institute of Regenerative Medicine in Pittsburgh demonstrated that the lifespans of mice could be increased by 200% using injections of stem cells taken from younger mice. This has already been shown to work effectively on mice, so it's probably only a matter of time until we start seeing something similar being tested on humans less than 140 years away. Other methods have also been proposed for extending the human lifespan. Gene doping techniques, for instance, have been used to increase the resilience and function of mitochondria, the energy-generating batteries that surround our cells, and also protect them from oxidative damage. Predictions suggest that such treatments could increase our lifespans by up to 30%, while also providing us with added protection against cancer and even burns. Telomeres might also play a role. These are the bookends that sit on either end of our DNA strands and provide a buffer to protect our genes from damage during mitosis. Essentially, each time our cells split in order to reproduce, some of our DNA gets lost at either end. This doesn't matter too much during our early years because all we're losing are bits of our unimportant telomeres. Once those telomeres are gone, though, the damage starts to affect the more important parts of our DNA, and we start to age. Methods that could rejuvenate those telomeres, then, might well stand a chance of also extending our lifespans. Imagine this scenario. So let's imagine that all these techniques are introduced in the next 140 years, and are proven to be successful. It's theoretically possible, then, that your children might have the option to extend their already longer lifespans by up to 300% meaning that they could live to be 420. They'll also be less likely to suffer from various illnesses. And if they do get ill, they'll be able to address those illnesses using far more impressive medical technologies. This now takes them to the year 2432, at which point there are bound to be countless new technologies that could enhance their lifespan even further, or perhaps even indefinitely. Of course, it might not go that way. It could be that we destroy ourselves in a nuclear war long before their 30th birthday, or that their lifespans decline through inactivity and an over-reliance on computers and gadgets. But still, it's rather amazing to think that theoretically at least, the first immortal may well be among us. And even though it's rather unlikely, that could even be you. Of course, in the meantime, you need to do everything you can to keep yourself healthy and youthful for as long as possible. Follow the advice in this training. Live by it. Swear by it. It might just help you to live forever.